miss this game so for those of you who do not know you play the, the bad guy in dungeon keeper 2 you're a dungeon keeper hence the name and you, you build your dungeon you entice monsters to come forth and they serve you and fight for you and the point of the game is you're fighting your way up to the overworld you know the top of the world because this takes place mostly underground and stuff and and there are things called portal gems, which the boss in each level has. As as you could see in the little cinematic, what that wizard had was a portal gem. Anyhow, so you're against the goodly heroes. And you're trying to you know destroy everything, all of creation, ransacking their castles and whatnot, trying to take over everything. And yeah, but... So it turns out that the first level is bugged. Smilesville. Welcome, Keeper. Before you lies a happy and carefree realm. The local champion, Lord Antonius, holds the first portal gem you require. Learn how to construct a dungeon, and build up your forces so that you can crush Lord Antonius and wipe the smile from his face. Behold your dungeon heart. Protect it well, for if it is destroyed, you will be banished forever from this land. Here walks the goodly Lord Antonius. Tis he who holds yeah. the precious like portal this. gem. But only when you've mustered level. strength sufficient the should Lord you challenge him and claim your prize. Lair. Hatchery. First, there's money to be made. Click on the flashing seam of gold. Your imps will dig out the area you designate. Well done. And now your faithful servant imps will carry back your gold to Dungeon Heart. Once here, it can be spent. The golden scale atop the screen keeps track of your reserves. A start indeed, but more this gold is required. 12,000 units should be mined. 
I think it's 20,000 gold. Red flowers float above your imps. These give measure to their health. Their skill acquired and reflect the simple thoughts within. You can see up at the top bar right here. Your names and stuff. Like a snipe job mining. A slap. To administer another, right click on any of your creatures. Then watch. They'll toil a little faster. But also suffer modest injury. Excellent work, Keeper. You are ready to recruit more creatures to your cause. See? A portal near your dungeon art to where your imps must dig. They'll claim this portal to be yours. You'll see what beasts emerge. Your dungeon heart is full of gold. No more than 16,000 can it hold. So, turns out this level is bugged in this version of Dungeon Keeper. But, I know how to get around it. Apparently it's only this level, which I hope is true. Wait to mind that. If I can actually get room set up. The Lair. A place of rest where creatures sleep to calm their tempers and restore their health. So these are imps, if you haven't played Dungeon Keeper before, they do all the work of of the realm, like digging, claiming, whatnot. They don't fight or anything. And they're sustained by the dungeon heart, they cost mana, you can see this minus 28 right here. That is from how much they cost, so I'm guessing there's 7 each. I would have more. I wouldn't. I would lose mana, but I gain 107. So, any faster than losing, you you gain mana by claiming land, and it caps at 500 until you get uh mana vaults. I think that's what it is. The hatchery, a place where creatures feed on favored food. The eggs will hatch, and chickens then emerge to satisfy their appetites. Your lair is not large enough to draw sufficient creatures through the portal. Fifteen tiles or more is what's required. Build more. Yeah, each tile can... Your lair is built. Now right-click to cancel building mode. And have it one creature, and each portal can attract... Or a portal can attract up to fifteen, and then every portal you get after that adds another five. So, 15 spots for 15 monsters. Ah, you picked a creature up. his balls. To drop him, right click anywhere on your land. Slapping them, you can see. Efficiency 90, that's the guy I slapped. There's here, I mean as well. There's the 80s. 80s version. Slap him. As efficiency is 90, and he'll jump just a little bit faster. Okay. Just a bit faster and move just a bit faster. That now. Yada yada. Get on this. Oh. Behold your portal, the gate through which new creatures enter your domain, drawn forth to use the rooms which you provide. You can see the color of the, of the flame. Look well, a goblin has entered your domain. On his own he is a cowardly beast, but in a horde becomes a useful fighting force. Good progress, Keeper. See? Your goblins are well rested in their lair, and their bellies full with juicy chicken flesh. Now keep watch, 
for very soon more goblins will arrive, and then your numbers will be strong enough to challenge Lord Antonius. Uh, so as I was saying, you can see the flame around around the uh, portal. That shows who's who owns it. Uh, he will always be red. Red is like your color. So that was red. Before I claimed it, it, like each flame was a different color that showed that it was neutral, unclaimed. Okay, so you can see the red flame going around there and like the walls and stuff and the ground is red. Are there any other keepers in the game that will have less? Or less, what? I'll have a different color. Blue or green or yellow. Portal zone. What? Your thinkers may enter through them. This is the mini map. If you don't know, like you can see what's going on. Uh, dungeon heart. This is the health. I click it. Dungeon heart. This is uh, the payday countdown. Once it reaches zero, I have to pay all my monsters. Um. I sense a breach. The servants of Antonius have broken through your walls, and you can move your gaze to see them now by right-clicking on the flashing blade. But worry not this time, for it is only dwarves, who, feeble as they are, pose little threat against your goblins. A terrible mobbing one dwarf. Rip that dwarf. Imps will attack creatures only if, if they're this close to the dungeon hall. You can see they're going in and smacking at the dwarf. And they will rally my the creatures. The enemy dwarfs are being crushed. Observe the white health flowers which appear above them. When they're near to death, you'll see that only one last petal shows. Oh, I forgot what I was saying. Oh, well. oh yeah. And they'll... Rally my other creatures to the dungeon height when, it, when there are intruders nearby. Five, about to have six. Your goblin force is large enough to challenge Lord Antonius for his portal gem. Tunnel north and you will find your smug opponent skulking in his keep. Yeah. Ah, I see you have discovered a magical item. Away, Keeper! You shall not taint Smilesville with your evil ways! <laughs> he speaks. The feeble Lord Antonius. See how the petals of his white health flower are of a special shape. This marks him down as your prime target. Take him out. Your creatures have been blessed with experience. And so right here is bugged. Typically, only talisman is supposed to come and grab a portal gem, but he doesn't for whatever reason, so I can use Eat code to finish the level. Do not fear the creep her. There we go. This is what's supposed to happen. to the next realm we go. Devise new spells in the library. The training room lets creatures improve their combat skills. Ah. 
hot lips. I have to really love those little some act like that. Well done, Keeper. You have successfully ended the life of Lord Antonius, and you have claimed your first portal gem as well. This is a most promising start. Yeah. I'm in a vicious build. Okay. Here's, here's a story. Two dwarves and a fifth hero. Lord captured the, the portal. And owned, yada 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 yada. Uh, sure. To level two. In the next episode. Oh.